Maybe because the Echo is uh, thinking about the tank killer. Yeah. Yeah, it's great versus both the Baksha as well as the Grok. And in a way against no way. the Esmeralda. But the problem is you have the Sicilian, yes. which can burst down the carry. No, 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 no. Like, I, I, I said no way because it's Carl Teasy playing the carry, not the Paquito mm -hmm. Carl Teasy. So this is the first time that Whoa. we're actually going to see oh. the jungle carry in MPL Season 9. I'm sure it popped out ages ago, yep. but this is something new in Season 9. Dude, that is actually... This okay. I'm just gonna say it. This is what I love about new patches because we have been casting on the previous patch for what five weeks. Come week six, we see a lot of different things happening. It's exciting. It's exciting for us. I hope it is exciting for you guys viewing as uh, out there as well because you get to see new things coming out from these pro players. So you know we're gonna be loading up here as uh, we get ready for game number one. Interesting enough. I would say that, man, Blacklist has a very good lineup, especially depending how this Grok is utilized. But can't wait to see how it's all played out here, especially with a jungle carry. And we are going to be loading up in just a second. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number one here in the Land of Dawn, Echo versus Blacklist. I like the power spikes coming in from both squads here. Both of them are very well balanced. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Echo Philippines, they do have late game, but uh, they do have a little bit of late game as well in the carry. Mm -hmm. Great early to mid game with Yaoi and Zanikuti. They want for Blacklist, no cap here. Oh my god. Oh. Holy moly, an early kill here coming out for Echo. I'm surprised that even happened because in the draft we were saying, you know, you kind of just protect yourself having those two tanks available for you and Kevier still goes down here. Wow. Yeah, that is a big win for Echo there. And my God, oh my the damage from Benny Cutie. Oh. We can see Echo already activating their side laners. And at the same time, Yaoi is making it very difficult for a for a Demon Slayer Baksha to farm. This is how strong the Masha is right now. Oh man, Blacklist International struggling this early. It's not even two minutes in. This is uh, this is exactly, I feel like when people wonder why Masha is picked, Yaoi is showing you why it's a priority right now. Yep. I mean, talk about the delay happening for Kevier in the jungle. Uh, this is a tough time for him. Super tough time for Blacklist International. Essen can't even keep up from Carl Teasy and he might even fall down. Oh, this is not looking good. That's going to be a clean kill there. Carl Teasy, another pickup for Echo off camera there. Oh, man. And it's just, uh, it, it's a tough time for Blacklist because they need to regain some momentum here because it's completely in Echo's favor. Yeah, completely in Echo's favor. Oheb is the only one who I think is able to farm well with Haji. Edward as well, but man, Kevier is so behind. 0-2-0 zero, zero. in Esson getting picked up by Carl Teasy is no good as well. And here we go again. Echo Philippines is finding kill after kill. Blacklist International just falling into their trap early into the game. Oh what man, what's going on here? Man? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he's already level 4. Arguably, uh, not arguably, literally ha having more experience over the enemy jungler, and he is a roamer. I would even bet that he might not be the lowest gold anymore for Echo, but uh, of course that's a little bit of a drag. But look at him like contest the jungle even. Esson cannot do anything against Yaoi at this point. Yeah, and you know, with we saw Yaoi, or not Yaoi, but we saw Masha being playing with this uh, similar emblem setup yesterday, and it does convert into quite a bit of extra damage right here. Essen's gonna take that damage. Benny Cutie finding another kill himself here. Actually, his first one, but that's 5 0 here for Echo and a 3.2k gold lead wow. already, three minutes in. That is such a big sequence of play for Echo to the point that they're already keeping Blacklist out of their own jungle this early. That's insane. You think of how Echo is doing it, it's not easy. They're making it look like it's easy, but honestly, Blacklist International is just not able to respond from the aggression from Echo at this point. You know, and right now, I gotta say, Wolf, you've got Blacklist International that have two heroes that really need mm -hmm. time to scale whale to to scale up well. I mean, is there a saving grace here for Blacklist Ooh. International or are they just gonna have to deal with this? Okay, so the power spike may be for when it comes to uh, the itemization of the tanks, maybe that's a, uh, a saving grace for them if they do find their opening, as well as the fact that they do have good wave clear coming out from both Oheb and Haji. If Haji is able to find the mark, maybe they'll be able to pick up some of the members of Echo, but until then, it's gonna be very difficult. 
Yeah, they just have to keep farming safely. But I don't think they have the space here. Kefir might be true. Oh dream. my goodness. Big damn is exactly what Echo is pulling out here in this game. Turtle's going to be up. We can hear the hype behind us. They are feeling great about this team composition and the way this game one is going. Curtizi just bursting Blacklist International with a single feathered airstrike. Man, Echo Philippines definitely snowballing to, to victory here. And Blacklist International, they got to slow this down for, for any reason. I mean... How do you even begin to analyze this one when Echo Philippines has just been implementing their domination inside their own jungle? You know, it's uh, it's crazy here. Like, how is this how is this carry jungle pick wolf working out so well for them? Well, for one, he's able to farm so easily because of the fact that instead of defending the jungler, Echo Philippines decided to invade the opposing jungle, and in turn, this Sicilian, which is considerably weak in the early stages of the game is not able to help his uh, teammate whereas this um, this Masha as well as the, the Farsa uh -huh. already able to utilize their early power spike against Blacklist International so Echo Philippines is able to give the the jungle the farm because of the fact that they were activated much much earlier compared to the horse of Blacklist. Oh that's gonna be, this might be it. The focus down on Benny Cutie not much he could do there but again they're four here for Blacklist International. Kurt is gonna wing wide wings out of there but the turret is gonna be traded so they grab that one. The initiation coming out. Curtizi is in trouble. He's got to back off here. Yahweh, yeah, so much health on this Masha pick. He's going to block a shot for his buddy here. And now, Blacklist International finally on the board. That's a small win for Blacklist International. They were able to secure their first trade or maybe their first kill of the game. But now they got to make sure that they don't lose any more towers. Just make sure that they have the space to farm up. Because the, gold, the 3k gold lead has not been growing more than 4,000. It's already good news for late game composition such as Blacklist International. But you got to take note, carry is also scaling. You need to pick off that carry the moment you fight in late game because Carl Teasy will be able to just clear out mm -hmm. everyone by late game. Yeah. So much damage that can come out from Carl Teasy. Maybe the one thing that Blacklist International uh, can uh, account for is that Carl TZ, since he's a jungler, picked up the Retribution. So that means that there is no uh, Flicker or Purify as defensive spells. Yeah, that's not going to go very well here for Carl TZ. The Wings by Wings was down. He gets focused on, but the Flicker coming out from Haji is going to be pumping out quite a bit of damage. Three Mars should be fine though. Benny Cutie. Also has to back off here. This could be a moment, an opening yeah. for Blacklist International to try to contest this turtle for the game. We'll see if they can actually focus it. And it's going to be secured once again by Echo here. So three turtles for Echo. Yeah. But Blacklist International finding a little bit of hope here. Yeah, definitely. Blacklist International got two kills. Uh, one, and I think that's two uncontested trades, but the turtle's still going to Echo Philippines. Blacklist International definitely buying themselves time, but they need to make sure that the OF doesn't get picked up. Just like this one. Yep, there's going to be the Falling Star Moon. Oh my goodness, the burst once again coming out from Kurt Easy. But he was pretty low. Yeah, we are chasing him down a little bit too Ooh. determined there for Oheb. Oh, and, man. Uh, you know, but right now, this could convert into another turret for Echo. Red yeah, the Echo Philippines could have played that a little bit more safely, you know. Uh, I think Yaoi's play there was a little bit unnecessarily, unnecessary considering it was a 2v1. Yeah. It was a suicide mission for him, and he died with a Filipino sniper's runner. Oh. I mean... <laughs> that's what, yeah, I feel like when you're Masha, like that's how you feel like you're like, let me go yeah. get him. But then you gotta remember, okay, I don't actually have a like this is a full health bar, quote unquote, yeah, exactly. but it's not a full health bar. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, that is also under the turret. Even after the sprint, you saw that with a, a shotgun coming out from Oheb. It's a big shot down. It was a runner. It was yep. a runner. Oh yeah, it was a it was a runner as well as the shotgun that can go up close. We know that there's even though that it even when it looks like a burst. The shotgun actually deals instant damages, which is great versus Masha. Yeah, there's going to be the feathered airstrike come down. SM gets stunned. Oh, no, that's just too much for them to handle. Oh, my God. Oh, easy. Now Edward trying to help him out here. Doesn't want to go into this fight exactly because Yaoi now has those 
He's still Two going in. Yeah, he's still going. Carl Tizzi with the confidence. Conceal's going to be popped, but mm -hmm. nothing oh. going to follow up here. But right now, Echo sitting pretty on 3.5k gold lead. Yeah, Carl Tizzi already hurts, and he just picked up his golden staff. That means he's going to hurt even more this point on. Echo Philippines definitely Terrific. taking a good control over this point of the game, but Blacklist International, they're slowly clawing their way back into this one. They just need to make sure that they farm safely. Haji already hurts, even to 3 Martizi. Oh, man, that's going to be a lot of CC and first damage. Ooh. Once again, coming out from Echo, that's going to be a pickup for Kurt Tizi. They're happy with one. They could go ahead and start the Lord here. Oh, Let's no. see if Blacklist can even contest this one. It's not looking good. I don't. It is going to be melted. Yeah, I don't think they can contest this. Kevier is having a terrible game right now. It's not his fault entirely, but it's more... Oh, my goodness. No. And he survives. Three Mar with the moves, man. That is just a... This is tough. Black International falling apart here. And as you just mentioned, Womi, Kevier having a very bad game one. Yeah. It's, it's not entirely his fault. It's more like Echo made sure that Kevier would have a terrible game. He's 0 5 and 2, got delayed to basically the abyss yes. by, by the Masha, and he wasn't able to actually secure objectives even with a Demon Slayer emblem. And right now, Blacklist International, despite having a lot of mobility, despite having some poke damage, they really can't go on for big team fights because the damage coming in from Echo is just a little bit too much. Right now, the siege onto the top turret, killing speed for Curtizi, pushing Blacklist back once again. Falling Star Moon initiation coming out, but another CC comes out from Echo, and they're happy with that because they will now focus here in the middle lane, trying to crack open the base of Blacklist International the best they can. It's just going to be a matter of time. One more hit. We'll take that middle turret down. Yeah, and they're going to force it down. Oheb is the only hope here together with Haji. But Haji's 0, 2, and 1. Oheb, on the other hand, had a great landing phase. He's 3, 0, 0. Let's see if the Filipino sniper could could buy some time for Blackness International to scale up. Because right now, Echo Philippines, they're forcing it. Oh, they're going to force this one back. But another kill going over to Yaoi. Echo now in a comfortable situation to take on the base here. The bottom turret's going to get worked on. Look at the damage coming out from Carl Teasy on this jungle carry. And now Blacklist International has to defend. As you just mentioned, Womi, the saving grace here is Oheb. If he can continue to stay alive and find the moments when he can dish out the uh -huh. damage. Three Mar TP oh, is back is. in this city. Oh, Welcome my. to Echo Express, he says. He's a signature Uranus pickup. And man, the steel leg plates making an appearance <laughs> in this game again. At, at 11 minutes, there's really not much damage coming out from Blacklist International. Even Oheb's choice of items, he went for the Malefic Roar after the Blade of Despair. Typically, you go for the Demon Hunter Sword, but since that there's no tank shredder yet for the side of Blacklist International, there isn't really much damage that can force the Timber Teasy out and then, you know, force him to stop going for the TP place. You saw him evade the attack, or at least evade death under the turret of Blacklist International, even when Oheb is hitting him in the middle. Man, Blacklist International entering minute number 13, almost a 10,000 gold lead. And Echo Philippines, they aren't stopping to burst down people from Blacklist. They're contesting everything oh. here. Curtizi, though, going to get slowed down, shut down here. Kevier finally finding a kill. Three more trying to push them back now. Yawi looking for a kill, gets Haji. Takes him down. Yawi is low. Still alive. Got to get out of there. Here comes Carl Teasy pumping Woo! out the damage. That's going to be the jungle Spicy. carry strength right there. Double kill for Carl Here comes Teasy. Benny. Can they finish it? Benny Cutie finds the finisher. And now only Kevier stands. There's not much this man can do. Echo is going to take game number one against the M3 champions, Blacklist International. A dominant win for Echo Philippines, showing Blacklist International no mercy. Playoff secured means nothing to them. They want more points. They want the first seed.